All right, so let's talk about refrigerators and heat pumps. Uh, so these are used to um, transfer heat from low temperature to high temperature places. Uh, heat transfer naturally goes from higher temperature to lower temperature. All right. But if we want to do the to, to, to do the reverse, like let's say I've got a, a Coca-Cola uh, that it is kind of cool. Um, if I just leave it in my house, right, it's going to warm up to the room temperature. Uh, but if I want to get it cooler than, ha than what it is in my house, um, then I'm going to have to put it in the refrigerator so that it can take some of that heat, even though it's already lower than the temperature of the house. So anyway, uh, if we want to transfer heat, from low temperature places to high temperature places, we have to use a device or multiple devices. Okay, so a refrigerator is something that will allow us to transfer heat from low temperature to high temperature places uh, using four uh, steady flow devices using a compressor, a condenser, an expansion valve. and a evaporator with some working fluid like refrigerant in here uh, and this would be a refrigerator uh, and it takes some heat in right it absorbs some heat QL from the refrigerated space refrigerated I didn't know space and it expels some heat q h to the um behind the refrigerator okay uh refrigerators don't really throw cold air on your on the the food and the drinks and stuff in the refrigerator. It really takes away heat it takes away heat uh, from the refrigerated space. It takes some of that QL and it spits out the QH outside behind the um, refrigerator. Uh, look at the, um, the book does a better job. Look at the book's um, figures. This would be a refrigerator. This down here, you can't see my... Um, uh, this down here where the QL is, that is the refrigerated space. Uh, but then inside the refrigerator, there's evaporator, compressor, condenser, expansion valve, and there is refrigerant going through here. And the refrigerant accepts that QL. The refrigerant goes to the compressor. It needs some work. That compressor needs some work. Um, it heats up. Uh, then it goes through condenser, and it spits out that QL uh, out the surrounding medium, out, out the back of the refrigerator. All right, if you ever notice that it is... Uh, hotter behind your refrigerator uh, because it's expelling that Q, uh, QH. Okay, so instead of efficiencies, instead of efficiencies of refrigerators, we have the COPs, the coefficient of performance of a refrigerator. So the coefficient of performance is the desired output over the required input. So for a refrigerator, what are you really, what's the, the goal of the refrigerator? The goal of the refrigerator is to take as much heat away from the, the food and drinks as possible. The QL, we want to get as much QL as we can. So the QL is our desired output. The required input would be over here. I've got this backwards. Uh, I think the compressor, uh, the work in. The required input is the work in. All right. We work in is QH minus QL right here. All right, so the coefficient of performance of a refrigerator is QL over QH minus QL. Or uh, if we divide all three of those by QL, we've got 1 over QH over QL minus 1. So, all right, so that's the coefficient of performance of the refrigerator. It can 
be greater than 1. So it's not like efficiency that has to be less than 1. It definitely can be greater than 1. Uh, but it doesn't mean it's, it's um, generating you know, work from, from nowhere. Um, the coefficient of performance could be greater than 1. All right, a heat pump is a refrigerator, okay? A heat pump is a refrigerator. It, it does the same thing. It transfers heat from low temperature to high temperature. Uh, it's the same cycle as a refrigerator. Uh, it's just that it's almost as if we put a refrigerator in the window and the refrigerated space is the outside air and instead of spitting it out the back, you know, towards the wall behind our refrigerator, it just, a heat pump spits it into our room. A heat pump heats up our room, even though the room has a higher temperature than outside. All right, does that make sense? All right, if, if it's cold outside and warm inside, um, and we want to heat up or keep our space heated, um, we can't let the cold air come in, but if we could get some of the cue from the cold air and put it into the uh, room, then uh, that's that's what we're that's what we're, we're that's what we're doing. All right. Okay. So for a heat pump, what are we really desiring? We're really desiring the QH as much QH as we can uh, divided by the work in or the net work in. This is QH minus QL. Okay, the coefficient of performance of a heat pump is QH over QH minus QL, or 1 over 1 minus QL over QH. So a little bit different coefficients of performance for a heat pump versus the coefficient of performance for a refrigerator. But we have coefficients of performance so that we can compare one refrigerator to another, uh, so that we can compare um, which one is better, uh, which one is more desirable. Uh, the coefficient of performance of a heat pump is equal to, mathematically, the coefficient, it's one more than the coefficient of performance of a, the refrigerator. Okay? All right, then real briefly, some definitions. We have the energy efficiency ratio, or the seasonal energy efficiency ratio, uh, and it is the ratio of heat removed to electricity consumed. Um, I don't have much uh, notes on this, except that the energy efficiency ratio is 3.14, or 3.412, times the coefficient of performance of the refrigerator. Um, we're not going to use that, and I don't have much, many details uh, about that. Uh, but a few notes, a few notes on these. The coefficient of performance and the energy efficiency ratio decrease with decreasing temperature. Okay, what does that mean? What does that mean? That means uh, it takes more energy to keep our fridge very cold, right? If, if we want to keep our fridge very cold at a lower temperature, it's going to not have as good of a coefficient of performance. It's not going to be doing as good. It takes more effort and energy to keep the fridge very cold. Or, what about heat pumps? Uh, for heat pump, it takes more energy for the heat pump if the outside air is very cold, right? Which makes sense. Um, if it's very cold out there, it's harder to get cue from it and pumping pump it into our house um then um then if it was warmer okay all right and then the last thing uh i want to mention okay yeah an air conditioning we can think of an air conditioning unit uh as a refrigerator and instead of the 
small space inside of the refrigerator where we keep our um, drinks and, and, and uh, food uh, cold. Uh, think of the whole room as the inside of a refrigerator. And we've got the air conditioner that is, let's say it's taking heat away, or you think of pushing heat, pushing colder air in, um, and uh, spitting out warmer heat outside. Okay, all right, so let's use these coefficients of performances. Um, let's think about this right here, uh, and let's work out some problems.